For Black History Month, we decided to put the focus on the young, gifted, and black leaders of tomorrow. And tonight, we want to introduce you to Brandon Miller. If you follow local high school basketball, you've no doubt heard of Brandon, but even if you haven't, chances are good you will because he's a young man with quite a future ahead of him, as we'll see in tonight's School Patrol. What number is in the A spot? I really like math. People don't really think that I really like school. I like school. I come, I come here every day. At first glance, you might suspect Cane Ridge High School senior Brandon Miller. And then what's in the B spot? Plays basketball. I see myself as just a regular student here. Pretty decent at basketball. And you'd be right. It's hard not to notice the 6'8", 195-pound student with the easy smile. But there's a lot more to him than his skills on the court. Try this one right here. Brandon assists special needs students in the peer tutoring class. 25, 25, 50, 60. Again, he's a special kid. People want to be part of whatever he has going on. People want to be part of it. His voice matters. Actually, he could have selected two other sports to excel in. I played baseball, football, and basketball, so I knew one of them I had a chance in. But I really thought it was baseball, but basketball came in. And soon his ball skills were so good that he drew the attention of many. Work at it, get better. Including Coach Marlon Sims. I don't go to any middle school games, but I'm going to come watch you play. I heard you're pretty good. Sim heard some buzz about the then middle school student. I go to a middle school basketball game to watch him play, and I called my coach immediately after I said, he'll be starting for us next year. Bring it in, let's go, bring it in. While there's enough mutual admiration to go around. We'll see it again next week in district tournament. Coach Sims gave the biggest thumbs up. Because we're a great family. I truly enjoy being part of his family. To Brandon's family. Mom, dad, brother, and sister. Those five people really close-knit. Not one decision has ever made in that household without all five being involved in it. Uh, so if you, if you frustrate with his decisions, don't call me. <laughs> yeah. But most would agree it's Brandon's natural talent that's put him where he is today. Gifted. It truly, truly, truly gifted. The height part, the stuff God touches you with, the ability to see the basketball court. I will perfect my craft, but I would say it's one of God's gifts because it some of the stuff I do, it just comes natural. He's in the gym, he works, he really works at his craft. He wants to be great. I still work on that stuff to, to perfect it and make it even better. Let's go, let's go, hurry up, let's go, go. And it's been so perfected that he was selected for the McDonald's All-American Games following in the footsteps of LeBron James and Michael Jordan. Wow, I'm really a McDonald's All-American. <laughs> Soon, he'll be a member of the University of Alabama's Crimson Tide, and he can't wait. The visit there are crazy, you know, the fans there knew me too. I even got Brandon Miller chant out of the student section, so I thought that was pretty cool. And while Brandon wants to win a state championship and, of course, excel in the upcoming McDonald's All-American game, his long-range plans will hopefully include a stint with the NBA.